In the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, a new tactic has emerged regarding the use of unguided rocket types such as the S-5, S-8 and S-13. This is flight at low level followed by a sudden pitching up of the aircraft, rocket firing then flaring away to safety. This tactic has been used by both sides during the conflict. The rockets used and discussed in this video are useful in destroying anything from tanks to infantry positions. This means that weapon release is normally done by aiming the aircraft at a target from 1 to 2 kilometers out and firing rockets from above, like employed by Su-25s in Chechnya. Now, the most obvious reason for these tactics has been the widespread increase in the use of man pads, which platforms such as the Stinger and Igla can easily destroy aircraft at close ranges up to 4 kilometers. Therefore, to keep aircraft and helicopters from being engaged by these missiles, rocket release has been further away than usual, before banking away whilst popping flares and chaff. Let's take a look at what rockets the Russians are firing. Firstly, on the Mi-24, 28 and 35, they carry 130mm S-13 rockets, which also has a similar calibre and effectiveness to artillery. However, the KF-52 can only carry SA 80mm rockets, which are unable to carry as much explosives in the warhead as the S-13s. Obviously, both standard Su-25 and the SM-3 variant can carry both. The Ukrainians are using much older Mi-8s and Mi-24s, predominantly using the S-5 and S-8 rocket, as well as the S-13. Their Su-25s can carry the same ordnance. One very interesting point of much discussion among enthusiasts can be found within the HUD footage of Russian Su-25 SM-3s, Mi-28s and Ka-52s during these attacks. The HUD displays a circle and a cross, where the pilot has to place the cross over the circle and fire the rocket. The ballistic computer would have the coordinates of Ukrainian positions inputted into it, and the pilot would fly towards the area. The computer would calculate the trajectory needed for the rocket to hit the target. What we don't know is how much the pilot can play with this function. Can you decide the range from which he fires at the target? We don't know yet. This new tactic is very interesting, it's almost as if the aircraft are acting as artillery, they just move around a bit quicker than your average artillery piece. Thank you for watching, that's it from me, have a good day.